Hey folks, so I wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you guys a little bit about the uh, edge highlighting I've been doing and how I've been trying to blend them together. Uh, for the most part, I've been using these uh, foundation wedges. You can find them in a makeup aisle for just a few dollars at any dollar store. You get a ton of them in a bag. So basically, I just load up the sponge and just kind of wipe along the various different edges that I want the highlight on. I've been using this blue wash and uh, this uh, light blue foundation uh, paint. So, um, basically the one on the left here, or the three on the left are actually finished. The one on the right is the one we're going to be working on right now. Um, I suck at painting and I suck at doing tutorials, so uh, I apologize in advance. But I, I hope you guys find this useful. So what I'll do is I'll load up the wedge and I'll basically brush it along any uh, area that I want to kind of uh, have highlighted, for example. Usually you want to do this with a model that doesn't have any freehand on it, but of course I'm crap and <laughs> didn't discover this until afterwards. So uh, yeah, that, that's where we are. So you can see the, the highlight kind of coming out and it's blending nicely in with the rest of the model. So, and then I'll kind of touch up on these other edges here. It's okay if you go over a little bit more. What I'll do is I'll just add on some more of the wash to kind of uh, uh, blend it just a smidge more to make it look a little bit nicer. So here, here basically it is uh, loading up my uh, brush and starting to work on the... Uh, the actual, um, the, I want to say ink, I'm so used to inks, <laughs> so old school, uh, get the wash and I'll start painting in the uh, center, uh, basically in between the highlights is what I'm trying to do, try and darken those sections up. If I ran a little bit thick with the highlight, uh, I can just blend it back in using the uh, wash and it, it, it seems to turn out nicely. Uh, it's a little bit trickier on the side with the uh, freehand, but of course, smart people like you guys, <laughs> you're going to do this before you do any kind of freehand on your model. But uh, for the most part, I think it, it turns out uh, decently. Don't forget to use your palette and get all that excess uh, wash off because uh, uh, that's, that's probably the best way to do. Don't do it like I'm doing. <laughs> um, then what I'll do is once I get those two uh, sections there, I'll move down the center uh, and just kind of fill out that piece there and you can already see the highlights kind of uh, coming out so uh, for just a few seconds worth uh, I really think it's uh, it, it, it it seems to do the trick for the most part so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results of using these little wedges uh, to, to basically do what I want it to do once you're done uh, with the wash give it a few minutes to dry and then you can do a final edge highlight to bring out that last little bit. So you'll have a nice uh, transition from the uh, wash to the actual uh, foundation paint or whatever it's called, and then you can bring it up to that really nice little crisp piece with the, uh, with the final blue. So uh, again, you could always touch up just a smidge more with white to make that little extra pop, but I think that's pretty much the, the best I can do for uh, when it comes to my talent at least. So. Uh, what I'll do is I'll kind of touch up a little bit more with the wash here just to just to get it a little bit darker in the center because I wasn't 100% happy with uh, with how it was looking but in the end once it was all done I think I was pretty uh, pretty happy with the final result so you can get those nice blend into a, a sharper um, uh, edge highlight and so on, on the left here is an example of one that hasn't been done and then the one on the right uh, with just a few minutes of just adding a little bit uh, of the uh, uh, paint from the sponge and doing a little bit of extra wash and then a little bit more of the edge highlighting. I think it's turned out half decently. So um, I really hope this has helped you guys. Uh, if it has, cool. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, do let me know because I'd love to hear. Uh, I've been doing this with my Venoms as well. And uh, I'm pretty happy with how the uh, Venoms have been turning out too. So here you can see a picture as well. So anyways, with that said, I look forward to seeing your comments and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.